Hi, in this video, we will talk about authentication versus authorization. So what is authentication? What is authorization? What is the difference between these two? We will discuss in this video. So first, we will see what is authentication. So authentication is the process of, authentication is the process of verifying the identity, okay? Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user. Okay. Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user or entity of a user or a entity or a system. You can say like uh, So authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user, comma system, or entity trying to access a particular resource to perform an action. Okay. So authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user or comma system or entity trying to access a particular resource to perform an action. Okay. So verifying that a user trying to access a particular resource to perform an action. So the goal of the goal of authentication is to ensure that the entity attempting access is who it claims to be. Okay. The goal of authentication is to ensure that the entity attempting access is who it claims to be. And then authentication usually it involves, so authentication usually involves presenting credentials such as username and password and verifying them against a stored record. Okay. So authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user. Okay. So who it claims to be. Authentication usually involves presenting the credentials such as username and password and verifying that against a so stored record. Okay. So with the help of this paragraph, we may not understand what is authentication and people frequently confuse between authentication and authorization. So because of that, we are discussing with the example, we'll understand what exactly authentication is. So when you consider a scenario where a user logs into a or into an email account, okay, then the system, what it will do when you try to log into an email account, the system prompts the user to enter a username and password, right? This is very generic scenario, right? When you try to log into your Gmail or your office email, so then it will prompt you to enter your username and password. If the entered, if the entered credentials, if the entered credentials match the stored record or stored credentials for the user, for that user, so for that user, then the system authenticates, then the system authenticates so that is what authenticates the user granting access to the 
email account right so in simple terms you have a gmail account if you want to log into that when you visit gmail.com it will ask you to enter your username and password and it will verify that user is available in in the gmail database if it is matches then it will grant the access to your email account that is called authentication okay then what is authorization okay what is authorization so authorization on the other hand what it will called on the other hand is the process is the process of determining the actions let me determining the actions or resources that an authenticated authenticated user or entity is allowed to access so authorization is the process of determining the actions or resources that an authenticated user or entity is allowed to access okay Good. once users identity means the credentials is verified through authentication process okay through authentication through authentication authorization ensures that the authenticated entity the authenticated entity has the necessary has the necessary permissions necessary permissions to perform specific operations okay or access certain resources okay so so authorization is the process of determining the actions or resources that an authenticated user so what is authentication we already saw here okay so authenticated user or entity is allowed to access once a user's identity is verified through authentication authorization ensures that the authenticated entity has the necessary permissions to perform specific operations okay so with the help of an example you'll understand exactly what authorization is now so using the same email what is that email we already in authentication we we are trying to log into one email account right your email account so with the same email with the same email after a user successfully authenticates okay successfully authenticates the system okay the system needs to decide what actions the user is allowed to perform okay once you successfully authenticated and log into your gmail your email then authorization will tell uh, will what it, what it will do the system needs to decide what actions the user is allowed to perform okay here two things a regular user may be authorized okay a regular user may be authorized to read and send emails okay a user is authorized to read and send emails is a regular user if you talk about an admin user okay an admin user may be authorized to perform additional actions apart from that what you can read and send mail apart from these actions like managing the users means user accounts you can say user or user accounts or system settings okay so both are authenticated so both are logged into the system means they are authenticate authorization authentication happened 
but when you come to the authorization he is authorized to read and send mail that's it a regular user an admin user is authorized to perform apart from read and send mails he can manage the user or he can manage the system settings so and this is the difference between both logged into the machine means your email their email that is authentication but coming to the authorization a regular user have limited access an admin user may have more access extra access okay so when you talk about key differences so so what is authorization if you talk about the focus so authentication focuses on verifying the identity of the user it just bother about identity of the user but coming to the authorization focuses on determining what actions what actions are resources an authenticated user okay an authenticated user is allowed to access okay authentication is focuses on verifying the identity of the user authorization focus focuses on determining what actions or resources an authenticated user is allowed to access so in simple terms here you understand so what happens so first authentication happens okay and then authorization happens if you want to check authorization first you should be authenticated okay right so if you take a simple example there is a hotel okay there is a hotel in hotel you have a manager you have a chef you have a normal visitor right okay you are went there to eat something so if you everybody can get into the hotel manager will get into the hotel so he is authenticated a chef will get into the hotel he is also authenticated a user you can say is also can enter into the hotel because that is also customer you can say right user means your customer customer also can get into the hotel he is also authenticated so three persons authenticated to get into the hotel but when coming to the authorization there is a kitchen so only a manager and chef can enter into the kitchen but a customer is not allowed means he is not authorized to allow into the kitchen okay but a manager and chef are authorized authenticated because of that he, he is into the hotel but he both are authorized to enter into the kitchen but a customer is not authorized to enter into the kitchen but he is authenticated to enter into the hotel okay so that is the difference so what is the purpose so so when you coming to the authentication it establishes trust by providing the or by confirming the user's identity okay by confirming the user's identity then what is authorization purpose of authorization controls access and permissions based on the based on the authenticated based on the authenticated user's identity okay user's identity that is the purpose okay verification versus permission if you talk about verification and per permission coming to the authentication it verifies the credentials provided by the user it only verifies the credentials provided by the user but coming to the authorization it grants or denies access based on the permissions associated with the authenticated identity or user whatever it is okay it only verifies the credentials whether you can get into that system or not but here 
it will per it will authorization means it grants or denies the access based on the permissions okay so if you take an example okay if you take an example here so coming to the authentication when a user logs with a username and password okay username and password then the system checks if the credentials are okay the credentials are valid okay valid verifying the user identity okay but authorization means once authenticated once authenticated the system checks the user's role check the user's role so that is you can say user's role that is um, normal user or regular user or admin user okay and grants and grants the authenticated grants the you can say regular user admin user, and grants the per appropriate permissions okay appropriate permissions here we can say a regular user have only only read access read only access while an admin an admin may have read and write access simple okay so if you talk about more examples there is a software park inside the software park there is a, there is a gate once you get into the gate you have multiple companies let's assume there is microsoft google and facebook okay so if you want to enter into the premises of that software park you should have any one of these companies id card okay it may be google or microsoft or facebook so if you have any one of these access card then the security guard will allow into the park but once you enter into the park if you have a facebook employee you cannot get into you cannot go into the google office or microsoft office if you are a microsoft employee you cannot get into the google or facebook so authentication means everybody can get into that software park but your authorization is you are only authorized to go into the get into the only your company not the other company okay so that is what authentication versus authorization okay so this is all about what is authentication what is authorization and what is the difference between these two and what is the focus and purpose with examples all these things okay so this is all about authentication and authorization so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you